Oh, shoot. Here comes Mr. Forky. <laughs> oh, boy. Hopefully, we don't miss the uh, rear end here and actually grab the sleeper or something. Who knows? <laughs> I wish I didn't care about it. I just lay it off, roll it off the trailer. I won't. Ready? Okay, hopefully nothing happens. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Gotta be super careful. We can't destroy Peterbilt. It looks like it's about to roll off the other side, though. Eh? Don't it? I'm watching it. It's close. Oh, it's real close. Smooth. Smooth operator. Shoot! We messed the bumper up? The grill? Crap! Good going, Ryan. Good job. You had one job. Oh my gosh! You had one job. You didn't tell me to stop. What the heck? You got flexor, bro? Up in there and steer it. Just hold the steering wheel straight. What was that? You are a terrible person. You're not telling me where to go and when not to go. Jeez. Yikes. All right, we got a 6,000 pound strap on there. Let's hope it holds it. Yikes, all right. That thing's heavy. <laughs> no, just back up. Back up and get it down. Big old motor. All right. So we got this Caterpillar unloaded. I was looking at the specs on top of it. It is 475 horsepower at 1800 RPMs and 1700 foot pounds of torque. So it's a big daddy, but it's a C15 3406E. And I've been told we can make like a thousand horsepower using stock Caterpillar parts between injectors and cam, things like that. So that's the goal. We've got big plans for the truck. So 
Now you see my first cat. Let's walk back there and talk about the 379. You want to see my Peter? <laughs> okay, so let's do a full tour because the last video we didn't do a full tour, but she looks pristine on the inside. It really isn't a bad looking truck on the inside. If Jake would have had this window rolled all the way up instead of right there, it probably would be even better. But I really think it just needs a really good clean. I'm thinking about calling my buddy Donnie and letting him do his freaking thing and get this baby cleaned. I think this door lock works. We just need to uh, get the keys and unlock it. It's got a bed back there. Oh, really? That's where I'll be. It's tonight. got a bed with a sleeper. Yeah. I didn't know sleepers had beds in them. <laughs> oh boy. All right. And it does have a factory wet kit. Let's see if this key opens the door. Looks a little broken. It went in. But this is the only key we've got for it, so we better not break it. That one went in too. Hmm. Nope, that ain't it. <laughs> I'm afraid to crawl through and open it. I hear it doing its thing. I guess I'm gonna have to crawl through there. Pray for me. Pray for me, folks. Well, heck, that key don't even crank it or turn it on. What in the world? How do you turn this thing on? Huh. I don't know what's wrong with it. Key don't fit the hole. Oh, there we go. Hmm. The freaking ant. Dang it. All right. Uh-oh. I see some cowboy killers. Oh. Cowboy killers. Watch out. <laughs> she ain't that bad. Take a look. It needs a good cleaning. But it's got good bones. The sleeper is not in bad shape. There's some definitely some spiders in here. Right there, watch out. <laughs> she ain't too bad. I think we're gonna have to, there is a ton of monster energy drinks in here. Crawl up in here. Come on, come, come around through the door. I'll stand on the bed. Slightly used mattress for sale. If anybody needs a mattress. <laughs> come on. No, there's a spider in there. Come right here and look at all these, look at these monsters. Yeah, okay. The people need to see it. They can't even hear you talking right now. Ah. Cameraman Ryan is not wanting to show you guys the footage. Poor people. Right there, look at all the freaking monster energy drinks. Uh, you, you can't see it. Jeez. I'll show you folks everywhere in here. She's got potential. Alright, we're going to crawl out and explain everything that's going on with this truck in just a second. Here you go. So here's the plan guys we're i've been wanting to build like a sled truck sled pulling truck a high performance semi truck with real stacks or a real hood stack maybe and i think this is going to be the perfect candidate because i was looking at day cabs but i couldn't find a 379 long nose day cab that with an engine that wasn't like 40 or fifty thousand dollars so um what we're going to do is i've already talked to our friends at the day cab company up in uh, Rockwood, Tennessee. We're gonna be selling the sleeper. So you guys kinda just seen the inside. The rest of the truck is for sale, kinda. The fuel tanks we're gonna be selling, and I believe this tank right here is a split tank. So this right here, the front half of it is hydraulic, and the rear half of it's fuel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So this is a split tank. The fuel tanks are gonna be for sale, including the mounting brackets, the sleeper we're getting rid of, basically everything back here, the rear axles, we're going with a new way rear air suspension. I'm trying to find some of that stuff used because that's like the premier setup stuff we're um, doing sled pulling with. So basically everything is for sale, excluding the cab forward. We're not selling the engines. We're not selling the wheels. Stacks are free. <laughs> they're junk. Uh, they're going to scrap, but hey, let's give them a walk around the sleeper so they know what they're getting themselves into if someone wants to buy the sleeper. So door works good. We'll go ahead and close that thing. Let's make sure it's unlocked now, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Dang it. <clears throat> hey, there we go. Sleeper's good to go. 
It does got a few dents and dings right here in the back right there, right there. Um, it's not perfect. It did it look like it have, had some uh, sleeper extensions on there. Um, the rear air is re regular old air leaf Peterbilt air ride. So we're basically going to sell the cutoff because we're going to be cutting the frame somewhere up in here and making this truck really short. Um, but if, like I said, you got these big long fuel tanks, sleeper, it's got a nice dent right here in the side of it. You guys can see that right there. Um, I think that was pretty much it. That's the biggest damage right there is to this side of the sleeper. I know, right? It's a unibuilt sleeper too, or whatever. I don't know what that means, but yeah. So sleeper, <laughs> sleeper, the air ride for the sleeper and fuel tanks and the entire rear air suspension we're going to be selling. I'm going to look up and do some research on what the sleeper's worth. I don't know what that stuff's worth. I don't really know what the rear air ride's worth. And actually, before I put my foot in my mouth and say it's for sale, I should look and see what gears are in these rear ends because we can use these rear ends in the cab over if they've got some highway gears. I can't really see what that one says. So we found a plate here and it says they are 373 rear gear ratio. So I'd really like to have like a 355 because that's what's in, or the Freightliner blue collar has got a 390 rear gears and 373s really aren't like that much of a difference, but so I guess we will just go ahead and get rid of these. But so if anybody's looking for a 373 air ride rear cutoff, make me an offer, not including the wheels. So that's what we got going on. I guess tomorrow we'll be back up here, get this thing pulled up there, get her pressure washed and cleaned up. What'd you got your pillowcase out here for? Told you to leave that at home. Sorry. Why is it so stiff? Oh. <laughs> oh, it just won't roll up. Okay. So there we are. Oh, it's full of water. I did not mean to mess the bumper up. I swear, guys, that was an accident. Thankfully, it didn't tear up anything else. Our, everything's in really good shape on the cab. The sleeper's a little dinged up, but the cab has got a lot of, a lot of good properties here. We'll get rid of these ugly panels that were riveted on there. Maybe put some cool fenders on the front from shift. This this truck has a ton of potential. A ton. We didn't really kind of go over the engine yesterday, I guess, did we? Nope. No, we didn't. We kind of opened the hood. You've seen it a little bit. Let's check that out. Let's check her out. Check her out. Didn't that one didn't unlatch. All right. She got some good dents in the hood. So it's got the factory C15 uh, cat, but it's got a broke crank. Looks like a turbo isn't that old. They had the wastegate blocked off, so they are making all the ponies. It was definitely a running and working truck. Like you can see by like the alternator isn't that old. The boots are in good shape. <sighs> it's kind of sad. I almost wonder if we should, I don't know. This engine, maybe we can find a crankshaft for it and save it and put it in something else, blue collar maybe. Or if we're gonna be making high horsepower, we probably should have a backup parts engine. That makes the most sense, I guess. But yeah, she's not too bad up here. Everything looks pretty straight up. It's got an intercooler in it, which is good for making horsepower. We're gonna want an intercooler. It's pretty clean. Right here's the air dryer line right there. Jake took that loose when he connected all this up. Horns. Shoot, them are some big ones, ain't they? <laughs> uh, see what the horse purrs on this baby is. Can't really read it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. Got this caterpillar. We got the one in the KW truck. We got the 3306, whatever, and the white cab over. Hmm. Let's give everybody a sneak peek of the white cab over right quick. Voila! We completely ripped the white cab over apart. I'm not gonna say no more than that, but it's torn apart. We'll be dropping a video later this week about everything that's going on with it and telling you 
what our plans are. So, see you in the morning. We'll get to wash it on the 379 Cowboy Up. So, we're back out here this afternoon. We're going to get the Cowboy Up Peterbilt pulled up to the shop. Man, you guys have been blowing me up asking if this thing's for sale, but now you know what we are selling. So, let's get this thing up there and get it washed and get this 2 million miles of dirt, grime, and grease washed off this baby. Ryan, you'll get in there and steer it? Sure. Get in there then. Okay. Right, let's climb up in here. The spider infested truck. Oh, there's one right there. Man, get on me. Turning now. Oh, there's a lot of noise going on back there. Shoot. Shoot, son. How about that? I don't need a CDL to drive in a parking lot, do I? Yee haw. Yee haw, baby. There you go, crank it. Ugh. So, you guys may or may not remember, we've been longtime friends with our guys. That just got on the back of my leg. <laughs> Is that water? That's water, thankfully. With our friends over at Super Clean. This stuff will peel the paint off of something if you're not careful. Ah, maybe we should open the hood, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Think so? Yeah. Yeah. Open yeah. That yeah. 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 Damn. That's Damn. a real truck. Got an aluminum hood. I know. Uh, Tupperware torpedoes around here, fiberglass hoods. We only have real trucks. Peter Bales. Thing is dirty. Anyways, th look look at that. Dang. This is how we do. Jeez, this man. is that super clean going right to work, getting this nasty, nasty stuff off of here. Dang. <laughs> wow. This thing is disgusting, ain't it? Yeah, very, very nasty.
So while we're washing this thing, we've noticed this thing does have quite a few more issues. Like the hood's cracked right there, right there, in a few spots. And I even noticed on top of the cab that I think the top of the cab is cracked, which is fiberglass. And the driver's side windshield's cracked. But we're done pressure washing for today because our pressure washer basically just like locked up. It doesn't want to go. We do leave our pressure washer and stuff sitting outside all the time. And it doesn't want to do anything. It's full of oil. I mean, it turns a little bit, but it won't do like a full revolution. So we're done pressure washing for the day, which I did get a lot of stuff off. Look at all this nasty, nasty, nastiness draining coming off this thing. It's like all like orange and black from the mold and stuff. The stacks are trash, like I told you guys, but we're off to a good start. We made some more phone calls and doing some cool stuff. I'm um, finding some people that do high performance stuff with the 3406E. So we're gonna dig right into this. Um, we're still waiting on some parts of the white cab over like we showed you a little bit earlier in the video, but it's coming along. So there you go. This is what we're doing with our Peterbilt 379 day cab, high horsepower, sweet sled pulling truck. It's gonna be fun. Maybe uh, Ryan, think you can clean the inside for me tomorrow? Mm -mm. Oh, cool stuff in here. Look at all this stuff. Spider right there. Ah, you <laughs> suck. <laughs> my heart just left my body. Here's a sweet hoodie right there. Yeah, I'm gonna stand back here. Look, here's a car, dude. Look at this. Rocking that card again. It's a car heart. Look at that oh. road crawled out. <laughs> This is a good jacket though. We can get this thing cleaned. And you can wear it. What size is this? Extra large? That's your size. It's my that size. This thing looks brand new too. All day long. We're gonna get that thing cleaned. This looks like, what is this? Flap. Looks like something off of a trailer. That's what it looks like. This is a sweet, sweet jacket right here. This is all of you. <laughs> nope. There's all kinds of, oh, got a spare headlight in there. Fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher, what? Dang, you should see if this thing works. Should I? Yeah. <laughs> in case of an emergency, I can't even get this pin to come out. Pull it. I am. There, there you go. go. You ready? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. It's gonna come right at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> and all over the equipment, no. It's still gonna go that way. I've always wanted to be a rocket booster. Oh. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we're making a mess. Yep. Well folks, that's a wrap for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the path we're taking with this thing. It's not gonna be this overnight project. We've got tons of other projects so I'm gonna finish first. But what I've started doing with our projects is gathering all the parts instead of saying, hey, we're gonna do this and then taking three or four months to get parts. We've been starting a project once we have all the parts here to complete it basically. So the cab over, all the parts have been trickling in. We have the tires and wheels here, we've got everything, but we're gonna be going pretty hard on that thing. Probably tomorrow's Friday, probably starting Saturday and Sunday, we'll be dropping some videos on that. But for now, we are gonna be, wanted to get this video up, let you guys know what we've got for sale so we can try to recoup some cash back and order some parts for it. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go to brucewilsonshop.com, grab your merch. It's been selling like hotcakes. We we're kind of trying to get stock back up. We had one of our printers go down. So if you guys were a little late on getting your merch, it's because our printer went down. We got it back up and it's working good. And we're back to getting everything shipped out. So we'll catch y'all in tomorrow's video. Peace.